Hey guys, this is a tutorial on how to restart your modem through your CMD. It's, it's useful for cases like when you're playing a game and then suddenly your internet goes haywire and your ping goes really really high and you can't do anything but miss all your hooks all the time. So what you want to do is you can you want to restart your modem or give it a reboot but in my case my modem is downstairs and I don't want to walk all the way downstairs reboot the device come back up wait for it to connect and then only I can go on with my game that will be a bit too time consuming in games and of course you can do it if you're not a lazy ass like me but in this case I am a lazy ass and so what I will do is I will restart my modem through my computer and there are two ways to do it actually uh, I'll just show you guys the first way to do, to do it uh, so you just use open up your browser and then go to 192.168.1.1 and I already have this over here and at uh, the username and the passwords are usually admin and uh, admin as well for the password but sometimes it's a bit different maybe it's a different password I shall share a link in the description down below to show you guys the respective um, passwords and usernames for your ISPs for your modems whatever so I'll just log in and then as you can see it's over here uh, people say if you save something then you will reboot your modem but in my case it does not reboot like if I save this it does not reboot anything you see my uh, my Wi-Fi is still on it is still on okay so in this case it doesn't it didn't change anything so what I would want to do is I'll close this down. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is that we need to go look for uninstall um, or change a program. And in this case, it's in the program and features. And for those who are using an older version of uh, Windows, I don't know whether yours has this search web search bar or not I don't know but you can another way to really find it easily is you go to file explorer this PC and then you press this click on this uninstall or change program oh look my disk my disk got full so it will bring you to the same page you just yeah it's the same page just click on the turn windows features on and off button and then just open up uh, just this box will open up this window will open up and then just click on this the tick bar take it on uh, it, it usually is not on but all you have to do is just to cl click on this and then there'll be a tick over there and then press OK and it will start to apply some stuff onto your computer which will allow uh, the next step that we're gonna do so close this window open up your command prompt just type in CMD and for those who don't know you can also okay you can also uh, open up your command prompt by pressing the Windows key and then R at the same time and then you just type in CMD into the bar over there in run and then press OK and then there you go it's the same thing basically but in our case we're just gonna use this one um, so all you have to do is to look for your default gateway and in my case it was 192.168.1.1 but um, sometimes you don't know your gateway so all you have to do is just to type IP config and then press enter and then you'll see your default gateway is wait no it's not this one uh, this one sorry about that your default gateway is one mine is 192.168.1.1 so what I have to do is to type in telnet space and then my default gateway so 192. 168.1.1 and then they will bring you to this page where, where you have to type in your password sometimes you have to type in your username as well don't worry about it it's, most of the times it's admin admin but in some cases it'll be a bit different it all depends on the device that you're using so in my case it is admin okay so and here you can actually type in anything and then it will just show you a list of valid commands and JDBAB apparently is not a valid command so all we have to do is to type in in our case you can actually play around with this if you want to but be careful don't fuck your modem up uh, what I'm gonna do is just to type it SYS and then reboot so in this case what SYS means system obviously and then reboot means to reboot the system you know reboot the device so press enter and then in a few moments 
the um, internet will be cut off and then I won't be able to use the internet anymore for the time being because it is restarting the um, modem see and I, I'm not able to access the internet oh no I am isolated from the world so um, you have to wait for a while and then the modem is starting on starting back on starting up sorry about that modem is starting up uh, yeah and then here is my internet it is not I'm not able to connect to the internet uh, for a couple of moments it's still I still can't go to, like balls I still can't look for balls it'll just take a little bit more but it is more efficient in my opinion than rather than uh, to to just restart my modem from a computer rather than just going downstairs you walking up um walking downstairs and re restarting my modem walking back upstairs wait and then only I can connect to the internet all I have to do in this case is just to um open up my command prompt type in telnet and all this kind of stuff and then just SOS reboot and I believe Yep, now we can look for balls. Yes. So, that's the end of my tutorial. I hope it helped you solve your problems and whatnot. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.